What's up, everyone? It is time for the ultimate challenge. I will be trying to beat four golds all by myself, though I do spot a platinum board of L already. Not sure if I'm getting scammed, but let's freaking do this. All right, here we go, guys. The ultimate challenge against gold. Four gold players. Now, I do have to say, after I beat uh, 1v3, or after I won 1v3 against golds last time I tried, I already started to get fantasies like, what if I can beat five of them or six? Now, four golds is really freaking hard. I've tried it once before, again. I got absolutely owned. So here, I'm going to try my absolute best uh, to not get owned, at least. Now, my strategy that I did in that 1v3 that I won, I did really like it. I'm going to try to employ something similar where I go for a medium Reaper pressure, not too much. I'm going to make some small adaptations here and there, but I did like just having a few Reapers to go around without it being all in. Because keep in mind, guys, no matter how good your Reaper aggression is, at least two of them are going to survive fully. And then you did three racks Reaper with a terrible economy against two rich guys making carriers and brute lords or something like that. You know, like it's not it's not pleasant. So I'm just, just going to do a medium pressure and then get into a Mobile Army Composition, Marine Medivac, and tanks. Very important that I get a lot of tanks because they are going to help me survive. Uh, I feel like most people that are not like super high level, they, they do struggle with breaking tank lines, especially with ramps like this. Like they don't necessarily use units like Ravens or, you know, splitting Zerglings, for example, Vipers to take them down. So that's where I can get my advantage, I think. Definitely going to be super freaking hard and uh, going to need all my focus to do it. But obviously, you guys know me. I'm going to, you know, ramble nonstop. <laughs> well achieving my dream here now I'm, st I'm still not 100 percent sure if someone can actually spawn on the same island as me I, I mean if i did a 1v7 they would but if i do a 1v6 or less i kind of imagine they always spawn on the other side so i do have my own little land island or a, a landlocked country or whatever you want to call it over here now i am going to scout with an scv normally i wouldn't do this <clears throat> but i kind of want to know at least oh that's, that's not a good sign. I don't like playing as air units. Uh, at least uh, I get the information of two people, basically, right? So if I only go with my Reapers, like he's already doing a good job distracting me. Like I can never resist reading and, and thinking about what they're saying. This is a filthy tactic trying to distract me over here. Now let's see, someone spawning here. No one spawned here. Okay, that is very interesting. I mean, technically could have bone clouded to the next base, I suppose. But that is, that means they do have two. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. Then they have two very protected islands, right? Because they have two on each side. That is going to be rough. Let's see. Okay, so there's a Terran Protoss here. That means there's Terran Zerg there. We do have a nice race distribution. Uh, I have a good wall off here too. That is a lot of barracks. Okay, so this is probably going to be mass reapers if I had to guess. Yeah, that looks like mass reapers to me. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to let that live. I mean, I don't know if I have a choice, of course. But now I did I did pretty much get to scout all of them already. So that's very nice. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to... The Marine is on the outside. So I'm going to be able to get some damage here. Yeah, this is a good start. Now we're actually going to get in here. I do need to be very careful for Reaper guy, though. I'm afraid that Reaper guy is going to get into my base and do some serious damage. I mean, so far, I am doing fantastic damage. Okay, that's one Reaper already that I'm going to kill. This Marine is also going to die. Uh, the Stalker is out. And I think I'm going to run away from that. I could have killed that Stalker with my Reaper. Uh, but if you think about it, I am not quite sure if it's smart. Now, there's a Reaper jump up spot here. I think I'm going to start by making a bunker over here. That seems like a decent choice. Let's saturate that gas. And now I want to go and attack Reaper guy, I think. Or should I just try to predict that he's going to jump here? I mean, it's it's a big play. No, I think I'm going to put the pressure on myself. I don't really want to leave things to chance when I can take it into my own hands. Now, we did a decent amount of damage to the Protoss, but yeah, realistically, not enough. Of course, I'm going to need way more where that came from. I have one more Reaper to protect me. If I if I was him, I'd probably have them on the jump off spot. Let's see. Oh, it's a bunch of Marines. He's not going for Reapers. That is very nice to see. I mean, Reapers do beat a lot of Marines. Oh, that one kind of got stuck. That's unfortunate. Still got a bunch of them, though. So that's all good gonna start making these add-ons over here uh i'm very tempted to make a second bunker too i don't want to die to just you know a uh, oh i had my factory already oh i thought i forgot it not gonna lie i thought i did or i thought i didn't have enough gas rather but that's very nice to see now i could go for an engineering bay or yeah that's probably smart right to be a little bit safer engineering bay and then the third base i really want to bunker up on this ramp over here but it's going to be very tough to do it sucks that uh, this place doesn't have a jump up spot like, if I could jump in there, I could actually do some damage. But right now, I'm kind of just stuck. Let me make sure he doesn't get this watchtower. Yeah, I'm not sure if I chose the right map here, guys. Because I'm not able to get any damage done so far. And it is uh, pretty rough, not gonna lie. Now, there's a stalker there. I know that. I mean, if I was playing 4v1... 
one of the first things I would go for is DTs. Like, it's just those sneaky units, like maybe Oracles, DTs, or or Mutas, or stuff like that, right? That's what I would go for. So I'm definitely going to make at least one third per base. The unit I'm the most scared of in this case is actually a Battlecruiser. Battlecruisers are really hard to deal with if you don't have specific units. So there we saw uh, a Lair. A uh, very fast Lair and Zergling speed. So that could potentially be Mutas. Uh, let's start moving towards Medivacs and Tanks. That's the next step. Let's see if I can kill something. I got, I, I got something. Okay. Well, yeah. Quite literally one SCV. But, I mean, that is something, right? Would be kind of rude to that, uh, you know, SCV's family if I said it was nothing. Let's see. Watchtower is still in my control. The Protoss I haven't really scouted yet. I I do have a play where I just YOLO in there. Or I could try to sneak in from... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to sneak in here. I think hopefully the Terran split his units and he doesn't have enough over here. Let's see. Oh, there's actually... Okay, I was going to say there's not... Oh, he tried to wall it off, but he missed it. That is fantastic. So I'm going to get a few SCVs. Most importantly, however, I'm going to create chaos here. Terran is still on one base too. That's really nice to see. And we're going to get damage uh, on both sides. That is a Nidus. I'm not sure if I have to be afraid of a two-base Nidus though. I mean, Swarmos would give infinite value and that's kind of terrifying. But look at this Protoss, guys. He is really struggling. Now, maybe I can annoy him even more by surviving a little bit there's a medevac in my base uh, that is very unpleasant i have to say and i'm just gonna go for the medevac right away i think it's the best choice i have there we go he might try to target a tank but that wouldn't work reapers did a decent job um this trade was already not something i really want okay so there's a prism in my base that is quite interesting or did he blink in i mean if he blinked in that is not the great choice because i have marines i'm stimming on top i'm gonna pull my scvs because i want to keep my overweight in the army count right like i don't want to lose army i would rather lose the scvs i know it sounds crazy but uh, it is what it is i i don't think there's a prism i would imagine that he blinked into my base seems kind of crazy to use a prism just to warp stalkers without blink right oh he's gonna lose more units okay that that never mind guys i stand corrected it's either a pylon or a prism probably a prism so oh he's gonna i mean if he's gonna he's feeding the units so hard right now those are not gonna get out in time look at those zerglings just struggling i'm just gonna target the queens i want him to get all the units out because they're all gonna die i'm targeting the queens and not the nidus so i get all these units for free look at that what a freaking trade i feel like this game is going fantastic for us so far guys this is exactly what I wanted to see. And now, I think I'm going to do some counter offense on the right side. I do want to take this base. See, let me try and uh, capture that. I do need some more barracks too, but it's probably more important that I actually get bases up. Is he... Okay, I, I thought he was going to ignore it, but he actually decided to uh, turn around and go for my base. Let me start sieging some tanks in smart locations. I also want a few tanks over there. Oh, you guys come back. I mean, if you want to drop there, I'm, I'm completely down with it. Like, I, I don't mind at all. I'm going to be able to out-multitask that for sure. I'm going to get into his main. Now, I say that, but there's also a Prism is back. Oh, I, I tried to cancel that. It doesn't look like it worked. But I did manage to defend that entire army, and I'm killing his base at the same time, which is super, super nice. I have enough units here to defend the Immortal as well. And maybe... Oh, that's too many units. Like, keep in mind, I might win that trade, but I don't want to trade efficiently i want to trade ultra giga efficiently that's the thing right now do i have my command center i do have my command center building that's very nice let's make sure oh i got a perfect position here i'm gonna add a couple more barracks as well yeah these, these marines are just gonna kill all of these look at this that is absolutely brutal that positioning is insane now i do have to get out with a couple of these because those marines would kill me now i don't have the third base yet i'm actually gonna make a couple of turrets here and then wait there's something at the front looked like it right oh that is tanks right or something wait how, how, why is my depot dead? Where did my depot go? I actually don't even know. He said thanks. I, I Did I kill my own thing? Or like, I, I genuinely don't even know at this point. Now, I really need my third base, guys, because my economy is starting to get pretty tragic here. Um, Let's see. Maybe I should go for the middle base, right? That makes sense. Maybe I should go for the middle base over here. Is, is this one taken, perhaps? Oh, there's a knight is there. That is important to know. Maybe it's time for a couple liberators. Liberators are giving me some uh, easy harassment without needing marines for it. That's always very nice. Their armies are starting to look very big collectively, though, and that worries me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty decent, but... Uh, you're killing four maxed armies it does not sound like a vibe to me now if i'm maxed on tanks that obviously gives me more chances now this one is still alive maybe i can do some damage with it over here i'll drop it in that little area over there and then i'm gonna drop the zerg's main base he's not gonna expect that because i was uh, not present anywhere near here we are this is gonna be a super nice drop i don't need to be careful for like ling drops myself of course 
Okay, here we go. So the Zerg is going to lose all of the drones pretty much. That's fantastic. Let me try to kill that Nidus. We probably get some more upgrades as well. We get the Prism, which is super nice. Oh, I'm going to try to escape with one of these. There we go. I got the Nidus as well. And now the Zerg is... Well, yeah, you you could say that, but I'm not sure if that is the truth, to be fair. Uh, and I mostly say that because of the Nidus in uh, the bottom right. Like, there could be just a full base up there as well. Let's try to start moving towards 2-2. Let's see, are we being attacked? We're not being attacked yet, and that is very comfortable, because then I will be able to drop that. Oh, that's a little bit... I mean, I only have tanks here. This is a very... Talk about efficiency there. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I lost the barracks for it, but am I going to complain about that? I, I, I don't think I am. Okay, you are going to siege there. I'm going to get two of the Protoss bases with just one fell swoop, and that's awesome. And then I'm going to drop on the right side over there. Yeah, these Liberators are going to do fantastic for sure. Now, my base is already starting to get saturated with... Wait, what? Did, oh, it's, it's four. I was wondering, what the hell did that even take damage from? Now, let's try to go back to the main base over here. Um, and then let's see if I can find anything with this medevac. He is making a Spire, which I don't like. There, there's a lot of money here. Uh, I don't like the fact that he had that many uh, Zerglings, despite me killing his entire economy, or at least so I thought. So there is another base over here. Let's see, okay, this position is good enough that I'll trade this. Like, it's not going to be perfect, but it's a good enough position that I'll take the trade, especially because I'm going to be able to attack this base at the same time. I'm going to start my 2-2 as well. I do need some more medevacs as well. I'm going to make a sensor tower here. Let's see, we're being attacked. Uh, is it with tanks? It doesn't seem like it yet. Okay, so we got... Oh, wait, this... How is that alive? Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but how? That was... I thought that died ages ago, to be honest, because he was attacking with a Viking, right? Okay, I'm just going to try to push this. I have a really good position here. I'm not quite sure if my army is big enough. We did lose that drop, sadly. That's a little bit uh, unfortunate. I'm going to make... I think I need uh, another factory here. I think I need to start making more tanks. That is a lot of freaking turrets. Okay, now we know that... Uh, yeah, that base is pretty well defended, you could say. Uh, I think I need some more turrets in my main too, actually. Mostly for a uh, teal guy. Like, the teal guy has a pretty massive army that I don't want to deal with. But now I'm going to go up to more and more tanks. I'm still the most scared of capital ships. And capital ships are the reason that um, I don't want to leave them alone. Because maxing out on tanks sounds like a decent strategy. I don't know if they're uh, good enough. Oh, oh, that's oh, the prism died, though, I think, right? Pretty sure the prism died to the turrets. It is not a big deal. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't want to leave them alone. Yeah, not necessarily to do damage, but I just don't want them to have the opportunity to build capital ships. If, if the capital ships didn't exist, I would I would be very comfortable with sitting in maxing on tanks and trying to get uh, the best fight of all time. I, I wouldn't mind going for that at all. I think I would like to... Yeah, I want to move out, but I also don't want to walk into a trap, right? Like, I would rather have them attack into me than anything else, of course. Let me try to saturate these springs perfectly. I do have... That is a fusion core, but it's only... Uh, one starport, I believe. I didn't do that much damage to this player, though. So that could be painful later on. Uh, I'm going to try to siege this main base a little more. So I'm going to get the drop in here to distract the guy. And then I'm going to uh, se uh, send these marines to the low ground over here. This liberator is doing really, really fantastic. I might have to start getting into marines later. Or uh, what's it called? Uh, Vikings later on to deal with battle crews and stuff because there's definitely going to be at least a few. So we're getting attacked at the front here. This is going to be a tough hold for sure. I've, I'm actually going to pull some of the SUVs for this. Going to uh, bring these one back to the top. I have enough tanks here, it looks like, guys. Yeah, I'm going to win this fight for sure. The Marines on the low ground have got an absolutely annihilated. I did lose a lot of my SUVs for it, but I'm not sure if it was bad enough. There's only one tank there, so I'm going to split my Marines against those. I killed all of the medevacs. I'm going to kill so many freaking probes. Dude, look at all these probes falling. And I still have some pressure over here. Let me make sure to drop two Marines on that base. Okay, and we're gonna kill all of these pros. Here we freaking go. I think the tanks are already dead. So, oh my god, I'm gonna kill so many. Look, this economy is pretty dead at this point. Maybe I can escape with this one too. Try to get the drop on this. And that means the Protoss player uh, is pretty much out of the game. Now, you can always resource share, obviously, in team games. So that is something we need to keep in mind. I do not have the luxury uh, of being spoon-fed by, by my teammates when I falter. But that's all right. Is that a tank? Oh, it's an immortal. I mean, I can just kill the immortal. I, I'm okay with that. That's a pretty high... Oh, the bad. Battery, no. I even got shield battery in, in, in 1v4, guys. Can you believe it? No, ooh, I don't want to lose that, though. I Let's see. Does he have a base here? No, he doesn't. Okay. So what he did is just make sensor towers everywhere to uh, make it a little harder for me to judge. Or maybe even fake that he has certain bases. It's... Yeah, I, I really think I need to get a move out at some point. I mean, I just killed a massive amount of units, I think. Am I confident enough to just move out, though? Maybe. Oh, wait. 
It, this, this could be a fantastic fight. I have way too many tanks here, guys. Purple's not looking. Here we go. I'm going to be able to target the Medivacs with all these Marines. And yeah, this army is not losing. I Oh, he has good upgrades, but not good enough. Okay. Purple's army is entirely dead, and that's fantastic. Now, maybe I can bait Teal into my army, too. Oh, there are... Oh, let me repair that instantly. Uh, wait, my tank is shooting. Why are you shooting? <laughs> wait, did uh, Green just lose his army as well? Or Teal, I should say? Now, I'm so glad I looked here in time because else those would have just been dead. I have enough Marines with the upgrades, I think, so I don't think I necessarily have to worry. See, there's still a couple units by both of them, which uh, does scare me a little bit, but I think my Marines are going to do good enough here. He's trying to target my workers, but I still have 57, uh, and I think I'm actually completely fine here. Maybe I should make my own sensor tower, like, more towards the middle so I can more accurately judge when I'm about to get jumped on, right? Gonna put these liberators in the middle. He doesn't realize I'm here, so he's gonna lose his tank right away, which is awesome. And then let's see what is that. It's just a couple units. I think I can kill all of that. Here we go. With just my marines. If they want to help him, they'll have to go through my tank line, and that sounds uh, yeah very uncomfortable to me, to say the least. Now I do want to do some more harassment on the left, on the right side, rather. I think I'm just gonna send a wait. Guys, did I just did I see that correctly? How is this thing alive? He hasn't mined from this in like years. That is that is insane. Okay, I, I didn't even think about the limb anymore. I thought it would just be like gone by now. Okay, that is pretty funny. Now I'm gonna start making a little bit of static defense here, and this is gonna be anti oh maybe I can move this a little bit so it survives. This is gonna be anti counter attacks more than anything else. Okay, let's try to get in here. We have a really nice push going. I don't have amazing upgrades. I have slightly better upgrades than the most of them, I think. But that is about it. Now my tanks from the low ground are doing absolutely insane. I want to make sure I keep my next couple tanks at home. That would be very, very smart. Let's try to split these a little bit. Okay, so there's a battle cruiser. I think I'm going to have to make a couple Vikings for that. Like, not necessarily I have to yet, but it's... Yeah, I don't want to risk, like, so at some point running into more than uh, just one battle cruiser, you know. Definitely don't want that to have that happen. So there's no base taken here yet. That's very surprising still. Um, I'm going to move these back. Maybe I can bait him, actually. I'm going to show him that I'm moving them back, and then I'm going to seize the tanks a little bit further away. Yeah, these battlecruisers are definitely going to be very annoying. It's at least two of them already. So I'm going to make a second starport here. And I'm going to try... Wait, I don't necessarily need to attack the main bases. I think I can clear up these bases on the side, because that's most of their income at this point, right? Now, he does... Uh, or he is making a hatchery over there. Let's see, do I have enough marines? Yeah, I definitely have enough marines. There might be tanks on the high ground, though. You have to be scared of that, but... The Battlecruiser doesn't have upgrades yet. That's fantastic. Battlecruisers are too tanky for Marines, but he doesn't have an armor upgrade on them. My Marines are actually shredding these. He could be using these to attack my base, but instead he's just taking so much damage effectively for free. Now, there are a lot of Mutilis out on the map, and that is not something I like to see. He didn't find my tanks, luckily. That's really, really nice for me. But yeah, once again, I, I do not want uh, him to get like too many air units. That's just going to be tough to deal with. I do have a good enough turret count over here, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think... I really don't think I have to push his base. Let's see, he's going to be able to kill that one turret, but is it is it that big of a deal? Let's see. I can cancel one of these to make a Thor, I think. Oh, that one is actually a big deal. Barely wasn't able to uh, save it, but I can save this one, so that's all right. There we go. And then I'm just going to start mining again. I, I don't think they have that much on the ground. I feel like they mostly have a bunch of the tricky units. Like, there's Mutalis, there's Battlecruisers. Uh, I don't think they necessarily exactly they don't have that much on the ground. Need to be careful with this, though. So that, that one teleported on my turret. That's very fortunate for me. Goodbye, Battlecruiser, I suppose. That is very, very, very nice. Okay. I'm just going to try and kill this base. I'm going to send these tanks to the bottom right. Like, he lost most of the mutas to my freaking turrets already, so I don't have to even have to be worried for these tanks uh, to die to air control. I think I killed the battlecruisers too. Should I even make more Vikings at this point? I'm not even sure. But let me kill that base. I think I'll siege this... Can I siege it anywhere, really? Okay, so my base here is dead. Oh, I need to keep these tanks at home. I said it before. The tanks really have to be rallied at home. Uh, this is also why I made the turrets here. So I had like, well, one of them died, I think, to the battle cruiser. But I kind of have an anchor point, you know, where I can uh, go back. Now, I did lose one of my command centers. I only have one command center left. Uh, or two command centers, rather. Not one to fly over, anyway. Let me make sure I eliminate this base. What is going on here? That is just a couple marines. I mean, if he, if he walks those over here, he will lose them all. Like, my ground army is very dominant right now. 
I need to... Oh, so he still has a lot of mutas. Okay, that is, that is good to know. I'm going to lose a couple tanks. I don't necessarily think it's the worst thing uh, because I'm going to be able to make better units. Like, I have enough tanks. Tanks are really, really awesome. Uh, but I think I could use, like, a couple more Thors and stuff like that. I feel like it would really help round out my composition. Oh, he's going to lose those drones. Let's go. He was trying to run them away, but I had the couple tanks in the back, and that's awesome. Now, let's see. This base is... Oh, wait, did I... Did I kill that before? I don't even remember killing that, actually. It does feel like they're giving gas to the Zerg, by the way, because I don't think he's mined enough to make as many mutas as he's been showing up with. Now, my economy is completely dry, so this army is going to be pretty much it, and I'm scared that it's not going to be enough, but I suppose uh, that we'll see. I, I do have enough anti-air for this. That's why I was making the Thors most of all, of course. Let's see. There we go. Oh, the Thors going to be massive. Oh, he's not paying attention. He's going to lose a couple of mutas. That is beautiful. There we go. I think two of them are, you could say, effective effectively eliminated not 100 percent but they um they don't have base it yet basically uh wait these stalkers don't have upgrades oh they do have upgrades i just huh okay i guess stalkers are not as amazing as i thought they were they're pretty good so that kind of surprised me but uh, i guess i thought they were going to be even better than that now he's trying to retake my base this is not something i want to allow so i'm going to siege this very slowly uh, to make sure that my tanks do the work here. I need my marines for the anti-air, right? So the tanks have to do the work, and they did the work, and that's fantastic. Now I can go in. There's not that much left. Now, there are still a couple of mutas. I kind of thought they were all out of mutas at this point, but I am going to kill all the freaking SCVs. He's trying to come in from behind, but tanks are so good against stalkers. There we go. And now what is left, I think it might be only the mutalists that are left right the protoss army died i believe there are some more widow mines on the map which is a little annoying uh, oh here's the base i was wondering did i lose the base like what happened to that let me try to use my tanks to kill that one uh there's no units at all anymore for for two apparently that's pretty crazy i didn't think i would be eliminate be able to eliminate someone to that extent now there's a couple of mutas here let me send uh actually i can send my vikings i don't think there's battle crews anymore so i can send my vikings re uh resaturated with these workers over here let's see if i can find like a hidden base sneaked in here i mean this tank army is not gonna die to anything on the ground there we go we found the mutalist that's gonna be it for the mutas then i'm gonna use these vikings to attack the top and there is gg from the zerg and i think we have done it guys that is absolutely fantastic this was freaking chaos all over the place really shout out to them for playing so well this was a crazy game i love the harass that they were doing the mutas were very effective and there we go one v4 against gold i think one of them was plat actually but one v4 against gold has been done and now i guess yeah i mean we could move on to four platinums that sounds absolutely terrifying though maybe i should try five golds but that sounds perhaps even more terrifying but for now I'm exhausted. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Really enjoyed this challenge. Look at the units lost. I wasn't even that efficient, but I think somehow I denied so much economy by them. Uh, and maybe I was even fortunate. No one spawned at the bottom right. But yeah, for now, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Make sure to give a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all for the next one. Adios.